Why is this taking the census of our solar neighborhood? And no census would be complete without meeting your nearest neighbors. The video that you're seeing is a progression of the WISE survey as we go around the sun. You can imagine you're just sort of looking down on the solar system. The red dots that you see are near-Earth objects. WISE has found several dozen new near-Earth objects, and they range in size from about as small as a decent-sized house to as large as a smallish mountain. There are about 150 green dots in the animation, and these represent previously known near-Earth objects that WISE has observed. The yellow blocks represent comets. WISE has observed several dozen so far. We've also discovered around a dozen new comets. Most of what you're seeing in the animation are white dots, asteroids. WISE has observed 50,000 asteroids to date. About 9,000 are new discoveries. Most of the white dots are between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. These are the main belt asteroids. But you can also see that there are two blobs of white dots that lie in the orbit of Jupiter. These are called the Trojan asteroids. One blob is gravitationally anchored to Jupiter ahead of it, and the other blob is sort of following behind it in its orbit. And these always stay 60 degrees away from Jupiter. Why are they there? Are they the same? With the WISE mission, we can now not only find new asteroids and comets, but we can characterize them. We can learn more about their sizes, their reflectivities, their compositions, and the properties of their surfaces. While this is the end of the animation for today, it's not the end of the story. We expect to continue surveying through at least October. So stay tuned, because who knows what we might find.